The 2024 TX SUV shares its platform with the Toyota Grand Highlander and is replacing the previous generation RXL 3-row SUV in the Lexus lineup. The RXL was never particularly roomy in the rearmost seat, but the TX should offer plenty of space for adults to settle in back there. We expect a plethora of luxury features, the Toyota version is already plenty pleasant inside, to justify the Lexus badge but the brand hasn't released a comprehensive equipment list yet. Three different powertrains will be offered, including two hybrids, one of which is a plug-in. Entry-level models are powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder, and the plug-in hybrid is said to make a stout 406 horsepower and offer 33 miles of electric-only driving range. The TX will be an all-new model, and an all-new nameplate, for the Lexus brand when it goes on sale in the fall of 2023. In terms of exterior design, this medium-sized Lexus SUV takes on a wide, grounded stance. It's a long hauler measuring over 200 inches in length, but still manages to be aerodynamic without compromising efficiency and handling stability, from what we're seeing, and from our experience driving the Grand Highlander. Up front, the brand's new Lexus Unified Spindle design feature at the low-set grille looks clean yet bold with its more horizontal appearance. The headlights run under the leading edge of the hood, and at the back, a slim signature L-shaped light bar lamp looks sharp. We don't want to call this thing a luxury minivan alternative, but if you're shopping for a minivan with a more premium vibe, without going for the top Sienna, well, the TX could be at the top of your list. The 500h and 550h plus sit on standard 22-inch wheels, and can upgrade the 300 grade to 22s as well over the stock 20-inch rollers. Depending on the interior layout you choose, the TX can seat up to seven across its three rows. An optional set of second row captain's chairs lower the total capacity to six, but buyers intending to use the TX as a family SUV may find the trade-off worth it to provide sibling separation. Storage bins are plentiful, and Lexus has integrated plenty of charging ports inside the TX's cabin too. We don't have a full list of the TX's standard and optional features yet, but we expect to see plenty of convenience and luxury items on the list, including a panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery, heated and cooled seats, and perhaps even massage for those in the front. A big 14.0-inch infotainment display is standard on the TX and it runs Lexus's latest infotainment interface, which we found is responsive and intuitive to use. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are likely to be standard, as are an in-dash navigation system and a wireless smartphone charging path. A 12.3-inch digital gauge display can be reconfigured to show a variety of information to the driver and an optional head-up display provides yet another digital readout for the driver. Lexus hasn't said what the standard stereo will be in the TX yet, we suspect a 10-speaker arrangement like the one found in the 2024 GX SUV, but it has said a 21-inch Mark Levinson premium stereo option will be available.
Models wearing the TX350 badge are powered by a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine. This entry-level powertrain makes 275 ponies and comes with an 8-speed automatic transmission and either front or all-wheel drive. The TX500HF Sport Performance ups the ante with standard all-wheel drive and the addition of a hybrid assist system that boosts horsepower to 366 ponies, this model comes with a 6-speed automatic rather than an 8-speed. The most powerful version of the TX, however, is the TX550H Plus, which uses a 3.5-liter V6 engine and a plug-in hybrid system to generate 406 horsepower. All-wheel drive is standard on the TX550H Plus as is a continuously variable automatic transmission. Lexus tells us the 2024 TX350 and 500H are expected to go on sale fall 2023. The range topping, 406 horsepower TX550H plus with the new 3.5 LV6 PHEV will arrive at a later date, but Lexus hasn't confirmed when just yet. We reckon the TX will cost a few thousand dollars more than the RX, which ranges from $48,950 up to $64,145. The TX350 and TX500H are scheduled to arrive this fall, and the FEV TX550H Plus will go on sale later.